Good morning, friends and fellow traders. This is Doug Campbell with Right Way Options, and this is the Morning Market Prep video for Tuesday, August 16th, 2022. Well, those bulls continue to just push and push and push. We had some terrible economic data yesterday, but we chose to ignore that and just continue to push up in these markets. So what does that mean for today? Well, how about we settle in? Let's buckle up. Let's get ready for the Tuesday edition of the Morning Market Prep video. Good morning once again, everyone, and thanks so much for being here. I do truly appreciate it. Well, we have a busy day ahead of us with um, Home Depot report, a Walmart report, and we've got a couple other reports that could potentially, um, economic reports that could be potentially market moving. So let's take a look at these charts and see if we can gain some information about how we may want to approach the market for today. First off, I want to make note of the fact that we're pressing into a new resistance level here in the Dow, and this is a, a huge, uh, price resistance level in that diamonds chart. So you'll want to respect that and realize that we are very extended in this rally. It's a little bit long in the tooth, so you'll want to watch that closely. One of the things that I tend to do as I push toward resistance levels, I want to be taking profits on long trades and I want to be thinking about short positions if we start to show, if we start to show a failure up here at these resistance levels so you'll want to watch that carefully now we do want to keep in mind that we're still in a an aggressive fed rate rising environment or rate raising environment i should have said and we still have a lot of economic data out there that it's very questionable so be kind of careful here don't get caught up in the fear of missing out and chase a rally so far up in the market. What you might want to be doing is kind of thinking about backing off a little bit just in case we decide it's time to turn down. A, an exuberant rally can um, reverse in, you know, really abruptly, just boom, reverse. So you'll want to be watching those resistance levels in case, in case that comes in and be watching for clues for that potential of that pullback coming. Now I'm not, not suggesting that we're going to drop all the way back down, just that we may pull back to test some support levels. We kind of need to, honestly, we're very, very extended in this condition. Now, if we take a look at our moving averages, one of the things that we did yesterday, let me get rid of that line that I just put in there so it's not confusing. We rallied up here toward that 200-day uh, moving average. And if we go just one step further, and if we take a look at a weekly chart, we're also pressing that weekly 50-day moving average here in the chart. So once again, we're, we're up here testing some pretty significant levels in the chart, and we'll wanna watch that closely for that potential of a pullback at any time. If we take a look at our SPY, SPY, also very extended here in the short term, pressing up um, toward its 50-day moving average, or excuse me, 200-day moving average, but it hasn't quite made it there yet. So there is still that possibility we could stretch on just a little bit higher in that S&P 500 to tag that 200-day uh, moving average. And then once again, if we were to look at a weekly chart, we're very close to that 50-day moving average, that declining 50-day moving average. So you'll want to kind of keep that in mind as we uh, stretch this rally back up. So be very careful. And then let's take a look at um, our QQQ. Now our QQQ has been exceedingly strong here, uh, breaking through the downtrend, breaking through resistance in the chart. And you'll want to make note that we are pressing into another very substantial area of resistance here in that chart. Um, as we push up into this level, we'll want to watch that pretty closely. And we want to make sure that we're kind of keeping in mind that we are right there at our 500 day moving average with that 200 day moving average still above. So as the possibility, there is that possibility we could stretch on up to test that resistance level up there. So keep an eye on that. But once again, I wanna caution you 
on chasing already extending stock extended stocks because the risk of a pullback it could go so quickly if we do decide to pull back and you could see profit takers running for the door pretty fast if that were to occur so watch that closely now if we take a look at our weekly on this you'll notice also whoops there we go our weekly up here we still have that 50-day moving average a little higher as well so again tech may still have that opportunity to push just a little bit higher in the chart before um, it runs out of energy watch that close and then our IWM IWM continues to surge to the upside really a lot of strength here in this IWM here recently and you do want to pay attention to the fact that we're pressing into pretty significant level of price resistance here in that chart as we push on up and in kind of an exuberant rally to the upside we're very extended in the short term so we do have to be thinking about that possibility of that pullback and if we look at our moving averages here on the chart let's go to the daily first we've actually popped through that 200 day moving average so we want to watch carefully if this resistance up here continues to come into play that um, we could get that pullback to occur and then once again we're very very close to our weekly 50 here uh, providing some significant resistance on that overhead so watch that carefully here in the Russell now let's take a look at our VIX our VIX continues to be a little bit puzzling we rallied very strongly yesterday but we did it on weak volume and it was interesting that our VIX um, actually closed at a higher place than the day before so um, a little bit of hmm things that make you go hmm so fear was a little bit stronger yesterday as we pushed even higher in the market that kind of leads me to that conclusion that we could soon see that pullback occur um, you'll want to be watching carefully for that and who knows maybe it's the inspiration of some of the data that comes out today that could provide that little resting pullback but the bulls are still in control and I don't think we run into any major fear concerns unless we break above this level here that 25 area in the chart and hold that up there um, we're a long ways away from that so the bulls remain strongly in control here if we take a look at our t21 22 this continues to be a an amazing concern for me um, we are amazingly overbought and we continue to just press and press and press into the market um, there seems to be a, um, a little bit of a complacency happening here as we stretch up and everyone's rushing in with a fear of missing out um, in this market. So be kind of careful. I think a pullback could begin at any time. And T2122 has certainly been signaling that, um, that we are pretty well stretched out here in the market. So watch that closely. There's never been a time when T2122 didn't pull back. So you'll want to watch for that. And then if we look at our T2107, T2107, as I said, those small caps, those um, stocks below their 200 day moving average, we continue to stretch this to the upside. And we are reaching some levels here in the chart where there's significant price resistance. So, and we haven't had any kind of rest or pullback to prove that we can hold any of these levels in here as support so we'll want to watch that carefully if this does um, decide to pull back we could move back pretty swiftly so watch carefully now it's also possible we could consolidate um, in that chart and that would rest the market here quite a bit if we had a longer term uh, consolidation so just keep an eye out for those things we are overextended here in that short term and our t2108 also shows that situation where that exuberance in the market has pushed us up here now keep in mind in um, um, the last part or first part of 2020 we saw this kind of exuberance up here in the market before we pulled back and we've been up here one time before in 2019 but notice that we are stretching up here dramatically and we're really ignoring the fact that the fed is going to continue to raise rates and um, eight and a half percent inflation think about that guys eight and a half 
percent inflation an aggressive fed and um we're just ignoring all the economic data that we can with a rush to hurry up and buy so you're going to want to be a little bit careful as we press up here and just realizing that we may be kind of pushing this to some limits um, that could create a little bit of a painful pullback if it starts to occur if we take a look at our t2101 once again i don't think t2101 is helping us out very much here um, in this chart and the reason I say that is if we look at our um, indexes yesterday volumes on those moves whoops that's a weekly there we go volumes were substantially low um, if we look at just that we continue to decline in these volumes and if we were to take a look at a weekly chart um, in here you're gonna find the same situation that we have been rallying this entire time on weakening volume so be kind of careful here at any point in time we could kind of exhaust that exuberance and see a pullback occur in the market so with that how about we take a look at our economic calendar for today our economic calendar we got a couple things to pay attention to we're gonna have housing starts and permits we saw the housing market index um, go below 50 a very bearish number here and we saw the empire state yesterday come in at a terrible number and we just don't care um, so kind of an interesting situation going on here in the market um, remember markets can remain irrational a lot longer than you can remain liquid if you fight the bull don't fight the bull try to um, move with the market condition but i do think we're kind of reaching that point where um where it can be um, pretty pretty obvious that we're overextended so watch that close now housing starts and permits is definitely one of those things that can move the market and we would expect that housing is weakening here um, from the numbers that we've seen so watch that one closely and then this industrial production number certainly a market moving um, um, couple of reports here so we'll want to pay attention to those whether or not the market will choose to respect them or just ignore them, I can't tell you, but watch those closely. They can have the potential to move the market. And then you want to be thinking about this retail sales number coming in um, on Wednesday. We'll want to watch carefully for that. Um, that certainly is a pretty substantial market mover, and we're going to have the FOMC minutes in the afternoon. So it is possible we could see a little bit of a choppy market condition as we rest and just kind of wait for some of those data points to come out so um, watch out for that possibility and then let's take a look at um, our um, earnings calendar our earnings calendar really slowing down here um, but today we have a couple of major notables to be paying attention to first off Home Depot Home Depot reported better than expected and um, stuck with its guidance. A um, little bit of back and forth here on Home Depot um, this morning on that report. So watch that carefully. We're pressing into fairly substantial resistance level in the chart, but at the same time, we've broken those downtrends. We're trying to hold these higher lows in here. So there's no reason to believe that this is not bullish. We'll just want to respect those levels um, in the chart and then Walmart Walmart has been warning that um, of their guidance um, looking forward is bearish um, but they came out and beat expectations this morning and we're pushing higher here it's been interesting they came out with that um, notice that um, looking forward they see their um, their results not being so good we gapped down rallied all the way back up Walmart started laying off corporate employees we pulled back a little bit and now we're right back up here um, we we just have an extraordinary ability to um, ignore what the company tells us in some of this data right now so watch this carefully we do have that potential of a lot of resistance in the chart but if we can pop through that <laughs> certainly possible we could fill the gap up here um, in this move so um, remarkable circumstances in this market where um, we just we just want to buy something so um, 
just be careful um, uh, in chasing into stocks that are already extended in their moves just in case that pullback does occur. If we take a look at the rest of our earnings calendar here today, um, we don't have a whole lot to uh, be worried about. Um, we'll get from uh, reports from um, Allegiant here. Notice we have a nice little bullish pattern where we've rested in here, breaking above some resistance, breaking above downtrends. Travel has been pretty darn strong, so watch in there for that potential report. Um, LITE will be reporting today. It looks like we got a little bit of a disappointment in LITE this morning. And we're going to hear from SE. So keep an eye on SE later. Uh, I believe this is later today. I'm not 100% sure. So watch those closely. Now, one thing I will say is this been cut sliding out from underneath that downtrend, starting to move through to the upside. So this report will, could be important whether or not we continue that upside move or if we begin to slip. But then again, really bad reports have just been bought up. So um, anything is possible. Let's take a look at our um, stocks that could be setting up for today but before we do that guys if you could do me a quick favor if this is the first time you've seen these videos if you could please click that subscribe button on youtube and also click that bell icon when it pops up so you'll be notified every time i post a video and if you find these videos to be useful or helpful if you could please do me that favor click that thumbs up button leave a brief comment and i truly truly appreciate it guys i apologize yesterday i got busy in right way options answering questions didn't get to answering those um, 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 comments yesterday, but I am going to go back this morning and try to get through all of those. So I really do appreciate that. And thank you so much for everyone who does take the time. Now let's take a look here and see if we can um, make make any hay out of some of these uh, charts that could be setting up. And remember guys, these are not recommendations to buy or sell any security. As a matter of fact, you're going to have to do your own due diligence and be very, very careful on these trades. Now, we had an interesting situation yesterday. China lowered some interest rates and that created strength in the dollar and that dollar is continuing to surge to the upside. But what was interesting yesterday is we actually saw energy gap down and push up. And look at this, we're seeing energy uh, push higher as the dollar value goes up. Kind of an interesting situation. You wouldn't normally see that going on. We wouldn't normally see energy getting a lot stronger when the when the dollar goes higher. So watch those closely, kind of an interesting circumstance going on here in the market. I do think we wanna watch some of these resistance levels, but if we take a look at some stocks like ExxonMobil, they pushed up nicely yesterday, um, but then again, everything was pushing up. Um, we're trying to ignore some of the, the negative indicators, that, well, not trying, we are ignoring some of the negative indicators, some of the internals of the market. Um, Exo, Exxon mobile um, in these wedging patterns and that possibility it could push out here. Um, we also want to watch for that possibility that maybe um, this exuberance dies off a little bit as that dollar strengthens. Watch that closely. Now the other thing that's been going on is um, we have got the normal reaction from that dollar stretching up gold and silver running into some pressures here. So gold and silver could be back on that short list. Watch that. We've broken down through support in that chart. We continue to follow this downtrend. And as that dollar strengthens, we could look for gold and silver to continue to weaken. You might want to take a little bit of a pause on some of these metals out there altogether um, with the dollar strengthening. Um, these have been in quite an upside run. Um, and we're running into some price resistance here in the chart. So with the dollar strengthening, you would usually see commodities of any kind pull back. So watch that closely. Now, another interesting circumstance yesterday, while that dollar was strengthening, we started to see defensive sector stocks move higher. Take a look at Coca-Cola. Coke moving to the upside here, breaking out, as you can see, breaking this downtrend, holding the higher low. This is what we call a tried and true pattern. If you guys have not seen my video on the tried and true pattern um, and how you can find it with the LTA scanner, you might wanna go look that video up. But keep an eye on this. 
um, rallying here in that chart and Coke holding up pretty strong. We also saw PepsiCo, PepsiCo breaking through resistance and continuing on higher. This is a massive breakout of PepsiCo and you can see stretching on up here in that chart. Now, again, typically you would not see these be so strong with a strengthening dollar. But again, we're having some very odd circumstances here in the market. So PepsiCo, very, very strong. Take a look at um, uh, defensive sector stocks like um, Hershey. Um, Hershey had a big day yesterday trying to break through some uh, major resistance here in the chart. Now keep an eye on that. We do want to pay attention. Whoops. Sorry, this thing changed tools on me without, without notice. Give me just one moment. Um, as you can see, moving up in that trend, pressing against that resistance in the chart, holding the higher lows. So we still have those rising lows in here, that possibility that this may need a little bit more rest back here toward trend to build that energy to pop through. So keep an eye on Hershey. It's been really strong. Colgate Palmolive um, stretching up yesterday. So again, some of these defensive sector stocks. I've talked about Hormel. Um, several times and I know there's folks uh, trading Hormel that are doing very well in that. Again, food or commodity stocks would typically not do all of that well with a rising dollar, but there it is, um, pushing to the upside. So keep a close eye on Hormel. That's looking pretty good out there as they continue to move up. CPB, another one of those um, defensive sector stocks, very boring type stock, um, breaking through some of these resistance levels, holding into this trend. Watch for that next opportunity that that may move to the upside. I would also say it was kind of odd, and you guys know that I'm holding this trade in CCJ, seeing CCJ popping back up as the dollar got stronger, and um, we'll see if that continues today. But watching this chart, we've kind of slipped beyond this trend, so I need this to get going here pretty soon if it's going to go. But um, watch those closely. Seeing stocks like um, Plug Power, um, being really strong here. Now, I think this needs a rest or a pullback in the chart. Um, watch for that little consolidating move and see if, or pull back to see if we can hold these um, levels in the chart. Alternative energies really trying to perk up. And last but not least, there was an interesting move going on in some of the cannabis stocks yesterday. Take a look at CGC. CGC really popping up here. Now, these have been ugly 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 for a long time and um just interesting that they're finally starting to pop through now i i do think that the market is extremely exuberant so you want to be careful chasing something that's a long ways away from a stop but um, watch that closely cgc and i saw tlry some of those other cannabis stocks trying to perk up yesterday so i do think it's worth uh, keeping them on a list and watching them for those next opportunities. So with that, everyone, hey, I want to wish you all a fantastic day. I want to wish you great results in your trading. Thank you so much for being here today. I do truly appreciate it. Be safe. Have an awesome day. And we'll see you right back here, bright and early Wednesday morning. Take care, everyone.